I'm Professor Mark Mazin and I am the Director of the UCL Environment Institute and also the Head of Geography. Climate change is probably one of the greatest threats facing humanity. It's going to change the way we actually live. It's going to change the way we think about the world. And it actually is a challenge. In many ways, it's a positive challenge. We can change our lives for the positive. And so what I'm going to try and do is give you a vision of what 2020 will look like in the future. As cities will be very different, they will be designed around public transport. Rooms and houses will be built very differently, so they're almost carbon neutral. We will understand that actually we want to use the bicycle instead of using the car. And if we do use the car, it will be one that will be electric and be plugged in. We can also then take it slightly further. If you think about it, we're going to have to change the whole way we actually generate energy. Because energy in development is very, very important. One of the key laws of development of human society is as we develop, we use more and more energy. So we have, at the moment, 6.5 billion people on the planet, 5.5 billion who want to have the same lifestyle as we have in the developed world, and they require a lot of energy. Now the key thing about climate change is, the problem is producing carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. So if we can find energy sources to actually prevent that, for example, renewables, wind, solar, wave, even nuclear, which have a very low carbon footprint. We can produce lots of energy. So, interestingly enough, in the United Kingdom, we are going to completely change the way we generate electricity. We will be using wind, solar and tidal all the time to generate that huge amount of electricity that we need. By 2020, we'll also start using electricity to replace other carbon fuels. So if we go back to the car, the car is one of the central tenets of our society. We need it to be free. We need to be able to hop into a car and travel wherever we want. But we can do that as long as it doesn't use petrol or diesel. So if we have electric cars, that will put a huge demand on the electric grid, but we can ensure that all electricity there is actually positive and actually not emitting carbon. The final thing we're going to have to do is help countries develop. At the moment, we have China and India and Indonesia banging at our doors trying to develop because they want the same lifestyle that we have. What we need to do is export that technology to them so they can also have the same lifestyle that we have. Ultimately, global warming is a very positive thing for human society because up to now we've been able to ignore all the other countries in the world. We've been able to ignore all the poor countries. Climate change is such a threat that only by actually dealing with them, only by helping them to cut their carbon emissions, can we actually perform a global solution. One of the most exciting things, however, will be the Copenhagen meeting in this autumn in 2009. What happens there will actually change the face of our planet and the way human society works for the next generation.